uma incrível, uma incrível loucura Nossa, invadiu... A maldade dos homens. Nossa, não entendo nada, né? A maldade dos homens. Prefiro um francês na minha tela. Dois Here as well. Centurion Agrippa. There is no doubt of it. It is certain that it belonged to a Roman messenger, sir. So, they have been captured. It has not been long since they left. We shall separate and look for them. Yes, yes sir. sir. That is enough. Let us move forth. <gasps> Centurion! <gasps> It's the enemy's fort. They must be close. We must hurry! The cremation of the assassinated Julius Caesar took place in the Foro Romano, as the raging flames reduced Rome's former ruler to ashes. All who looked on were struck by the poignancy of his own too early demise. Hear me, my fellow Romans. And here comes Cicero, champion of the Senate. We, the members of the Senate, have found the man responsible for the grotesque slaying of our hero, Julius Caesar.
It is the traitor of Rome, Vipsanius. Vipsanius? That is Agrippa's father. It cannot be. <laughs> it is not true. I did not kill Caesar. I would never do such a thing. Silence, men of Rome. I shall now announce the successor to the hero Julius Caesar. The man who shall ascend as the just ruler of our great nation. Antonius! People of Rome, as Caesar has expressed in his will, I, Antonius, shall step up as his rightful successor. I shall hereby take up an oath on my honor to dedicate my life to the glory of Rome! Yeah! I cannot believe that Vipsanius would do such a thing. <laughs> 